Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is a gloomy, gloomy day outside. It has been storming for most of today, but I decided to do this makeup uh, look today, this very like bright but still dramatic and still glittery kind of makeup look, hopefully to liven up my day. And I decided to add the uh, red lip for a touch of brightness. So I really do love how this look came together. I really love how it turned out. I used so many different colors, like so many different unexpected colors. I mean, you have the red, but then you have the orange, the plum, the blue, the the silver and you know glitter and a sparkle throughout so it's a little bit of a um like a different color story and I really do love the way it turned out so if you want to see how I created this particular makeup look then of course keep on watching I think that the first palette I want to get into is definitely the dose of colors blushing berries palette I want to specifically work with this color right here I'm just gonna take it on my brush and I already have like a foundation on my eyelids already. I'm definitely concentrating this color more on my outer corner. I'm kind of sketching out like a slight angle with this shadow and I'm also applying it very uh, lightly into my crease as well. So this is the kind of look that's sort of coming together. I know super messy but you guys know that I kind of really do like to experiment and I like to like just throw on the color and then fine tune it later on. That's just like the best way for me to work with color, I have found at least. So yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm really liking it so far. I actually do want to go in with another brush. This is the Morphe E17. And I'm gonna dip in to, I'm trying to think. I think I can dip into like this exact same shade. And this time I'm just gonna fine tune things. I'm going to airbrush the outline of this eyeshadow look and we're just going to make sure everything is a little bit more fine-tuned, a little bit more high impact and slightly more seamless. I kind of do want to do um, a brow bone highlight so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that super quickly. I'm dipping into this color from the Masquerade palette and I'm just going to apply this color right in to my brow bone area. I'm then gonna go back in with this brush that I used to apply the plum color, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go over the area between the plum color and the highlight shade, just to make sure that everything is a little bit more seamless and diffused. And now that that's done, I'm going to go in with this brush right here. This has a little bit of green shadow on it, but I've been like swatching it on my hand and I think I got most of it out and I don't think that this will affect the eyeshadow look, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to apply uh, this blue color into my inner crease using this particular brush. Also just going to be dragging the color out into my outer corner as well, really meshing it in with that plum shade. I think I'm also going to dip into this shade using my fingers and just apply this right next to that really beautiful pinky purple shade just to deepen the look even further. I feel like these two colors are sort of similar, but the plum that I'm applying is a lot more uh, bright. So I feel like it's calling attention to the look in a very interesting way. And I'm just gonna grab this brush and just blend out, really smoke out the edges of that plum shade. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my little glitter primer right here from NYX and I'm going to apply this right into that blank space, right between that blue and the plum. 
And then on top of that, I'm going to be applying this color right here, which is like this beautiful metallic, really deep kind of turquoisey color. It's a very interesting shade, and this is going to be applied right on top of the glitter primer. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Okay, so you notice that I actually did go over a lot of that plum color with this turquoise, and that is because I plan on going in with this brush, the Morphe E17 that we have been using on and off throughout the video. I plan on dipping it in to this color right here and just applying this over some of that turquoise to really just like smoke things up to really mesh the two colors in together. I even decided to go in with my fingers and apply that plum and then fluff it out with the brush but I'm looking at that blue, okay, that blue that I was applying into my inner crease, and it's looking a little bit lackluster, so I want to go in with some more of it using the same brush, and just to intensify that blue, I'm just going to go over it again, this time using like padding slash wiping motions to really get that color um, as intense as possible. So I really do like the colors in here, but it's looking a little bit like mm, not so like fantabulous, you know? So I am going to be going in with this Lemonhead Space Paste, and this is in the shade Adult Film. So I'm just going to take a clean finger, I'm going to grab some of this, um, and I'm also just going to apply this right into the center of my eyelid for a really beautiful effect. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Like I've said so many times before, Glitter makes you look so much better at makeup than you actually are. I'm then going to go in with some foundation. I believe that I want to use this one right here, the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate. I'm just going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm going to take my flat brush right here, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of it right um, immediately to the places where I feel I can eat the most coverage and then I'll be going in with a buffing brush just to spread everything around a bit and blend everything in. Basically I want to apply as little foundation to my face as possible but I do want to even things out and I do want to apply some coverage to certain areas. And then with the buff and brush, I'll take the remainder of the product left on the back of my hand and just smooth everything into my skin. Okay, so I kind of want to throw a little bit of a curveball into this look, and I'm going to do that by using this orange shade in my lower lash line. I'm also just extending this color out to create a little bit of a winged shape in my outer um, 
I'm also extending this color out to create a little bit of a winged shape for my eyeshadow. This is looking so cool and so interesting. I feel that the orange really just revives this look all together. I will say that I try to apply the orange most intensely in my middle uh, lower lash line and the outer bit. Not so much here, even though I did apply a light wash, but I kind of want to extend the eye outward and I want to provide more saturation in the outer portion of my eyelid rather than the inner one to really just extend it and make the eye appear a little bit more cat-like. Now it's time to be doing my inner corner highlights and I'm going to be grabbing the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Liberty. Now it's a gloomy, gloomy day today, but I do notice that this like just shines so bright and whenever it's like a cloudy stormy gloomy day and whenever i do my makeup with like this particular shade it just makes my eye like my eye look appear so much more bright and so much more interesting you will see what i mean in just a minute so i'm just gonna apply this with my ring finger right into my inner corner You see what I mean, right? It is really just such a bright and beaming addition to this entire look and that combined with the glitter, I just love this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my face. I have these palettes right here which I've been trying to get into. These are the City Color Contour Effects palettes. I usually just like to experiment with both of these. I recently featured these in my bronzer, uh, the good, the bad, and the unused video and that video will be in the cards if I remember to put it there. I will hope that I do but uh, this is like these are like some really interesting formulas they're really good in my personal opinion but I will be using a combination of this white okay that's a lot and also this like really beautiful creamy sort of highlight color and I'm just gonna apply this to the high points of my face I like to also apply a little bit in my temple, but I usually like to concentrate the color specifically onto my cheekbone. I actually do like to make sure that I apply more highlight to my cheekbone area, in fact, far more rather than the center of my face because when I apply my highlight to my cheekbone area, I'm trying to basically almost create slash enhance a bone structure, okay? Here, I don't really need to bring anything forward because my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow, they are already being brought forward by my natural bone structure. However, I don't have very like just sharp and chiseled cheekbones, which is why I apply the highlight so heavily in my cheekbone area. If I applied a lot of heavy highlight in my nose like and my chin area, it would take away from this area right here, which I do not want. So that's why I apply a great deal more highlight here and just a little bit into this area right here. I personally am not a fan of like the very super like uh, highlightery nose. Like I just don't like that. I just like to make sure it's a little bit natural here, but a little bit more concentrated here. That's just my personal. Uh, preference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little bronzing brush right here. I'm going to dip it into a combination of these two shades right here and I'm going to use these to chisel out my face. I'm also going to be doing my mascara super quickly and then I'm going to pop some lashes on. The lashes I'm using are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. And then for lips, I decided to go for like a really, really vibrant red lip. The one that I was using today was from ColourPop. This is in the shade Little Weapon. This is a ultra matte, a liquid lipstick. It is currently discontinued though, I just really like using it and I decided to use it on camera today because I really do like how it looks with this particular look but of course you can use whatever favorite red lipstick you currently own. 
Now I'm going to go for some lip gloss and this particular one is the Jordana Cosmic Glow Hollow. I'm also going to be doing my mascara super quickly and then I'm going to pop some lashes on. The lashes I'm using are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. And then for lips, I decided to go for like a really, really vibrant red lip. The one that I was using today was from ColourPop. This is in the shade Little Weapon. This is a ultra matte a liquid lipstick. It is currently discontinued though. I just really like using it and I decided to use it on camera today because I really do like how it looks with this particular look, but of course you can use whatever favorite red lipstick you currently own. Now I'm gonna go for some lip gloss and this particular one is the Jordana Cosmic Glow Holographic Lip Gloss. I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my finger, okay? And I'm gonna apply this specifically into the middle portion of my lip. It adds just the right amount of gloss to really make my lips look a little bit more full. So this is the finished look right here. I really love how this ended up looking. It is a little bit like um, sultry, it's definitely more dramatic, but I love how bright and how fun it is with the addition of the orange on the lower lash line and then also the uh, red lip. And of course, I do love the glitter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look as well. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll be seeing you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.